These are Minecraft killers. Their main task is to catch me in this mega maze. The maze will constantly change and dangerous monsters will crawl out at night. We will see many mega locations where we can get really cool loot. My main task is to find a way out of here. And if I fail, the killers will receive $1,000. Right now, the first five killers are right behind me. Today, you have no chance at all. We give you exactly five seconds. Otherwise, we will... You. Okay, got it, guys. I have to leave now. Let's go. Ahead of me was a huge maze with a lot of dangers. But first, I had to break away from the killers. Okay, there's some kind of lever. L let's press it. Come on, come on. What's happened? Oh, As you can see, guys, today I found myself in some strange maze. And look, there's some towers here, and there's even a staircase. I found myself in the very first sector of this maze. There were many different towers in the square, as well as exits to other parts of the maze. Okay, great, guys. We found a gun. We already have a gun. That's perfect. Our most important task task guys is to get out of here as quickly as possible because these killers will absolutely not spare me in any sort of way guys hurry up after him we need to catch up let's show this oh my god oh my god uh, oh, okay guys we have to run let's run faster as quickly as possible okay so we have a gun now guys nice we have a gun yes oh, stop these hunters today initially had really great resources so my main task was to hide as quickly as possible okay guys there's a waterfall maybe we can try and hide here what a separate room the the hunters are coming right now and so far there's only five of them and what will happen when there's gonna be like a hundred of them i can't even imagine we've just started and we already lost him with these four walls that's it guys i think the killers ran away somewhere and first of all of course we need to attach the stock to a rifle and start looting different boxes around the first thing of course is to get some wood for ourselves and make some starting tools yeah the killers are not the only dangers here actually besides them the main danger is the monsters so we'll get into the main every night and maybe the killers will even be able to control them i think that on such towers there's gonna be some pretty useful loot now we'll try to carefully go up and this is why i need to place blocks because it's simply impossible to jump over them you see i almost fell having climbed to the very top i was able to see the entire sector as well as three exits that led further into the maze maybe this is a copy of me who tried to escape from these killers but as you can see it didn't work out oh a backpack okay guys now that's really good with the onset of sunset, it's time to tell you what the maze basically consists of. The first is various sectors. For example, we're in one of them right now. This is an open square area. And the size of such locations can vary from small to very large. Here you can find very valuable loot and look for clues on how to get out of the maze. And secondly, there are dangerous walls. They surround absolutely all the sectors and they're their most dangerous place at night. Because 70% of the monsters spawn there. How could we get lost in this maze? Well, everything is obvious right Right here. How could we do this? Yankee, you, you, uh, what are you? Okay, let's make a camp. While the killers were lost among the dangerous walls, I found a cave, which I decided to equip for the first night. I collected a bunch of resources and made myself a small base where I would store the resources that I would find in the coming days. New day. Today, two new players have been added to the killer team. Now, there were seven of them. Today, the first thing I wanted to do is loot this huge tower and a lot of chests. In general, look, we already have seven killers. This may make the game a little more difficult for us, but it won't stop us in any sort of way. At the time, I did didn't know that two new guys were already waiting for me and ambushed me. Okay, wait, I see, I see, I see them. Here they are, guys, guys, here they are. Oh, oh, the, there's two, 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 there's two of them. Okay, uh, I got one. Okay, guys, let's push. We gotta push. Okay, carefully. Yeah, well, guys, they could be more professional than they actually are. Wait, look at that. I got a glass and half a stack of fried pork. Okay, maybe they can give a signal to the others that I'm still here after all. So we'll quickly loot everything and probably get out of here. What? How did he do it? Let's run back but where are you to run then wait where am i going no 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 no! wait i got levitation for one more second oh okay i'm upstairs so some kind of chest plate and a golden apple by the way i think it's better than an iron chest plate lots of skeletons and some strange altar fast travel point place the artifact here to activate it as you understand we don't have that artifact yet so we can't use it there are such moving parts in every sector by finding and obtaining artifacts i'll be able to move between sectors which will give me a huge advantage over the killers. However, it was still a mistake to get here. Having learned my location, all the players went back to the first sector to catch me as soon as possible. Oh my god, wait, okay, I see two, and wait, there's another one! Uh, am I surrounded? Okay, that's really bad, that's actually super bad. 
We have to get out of here somehow. Okay, yes, yes. I put Yankee down. One more. Great. I killed Arsu. He's running away, guys. Look, he's running away. And I completely ran out of all of my ammo. Okay, I'll jump down into the web and just survive calmly. Despite the fact that I didn't even get 50% of this sector, I decided to run away from here as quickly as possible, even though the night was coming. Of course, I found the perfect time to go into the dangerous walls. What's so difficult, you might ask? Yeah, monsters can devour me at any moment. Well, the walls don't break in any way at all. You can place your blocks and you can break your own blocks as well, but the walls are untouchable. Now we'll try to find the best place for a base to survive the night. Considering the sounds of monsters I can already hear in the background, I gotta hurry up. This large-scale section on my channel has not always been about the chase, but also, of course, about the hardcore element. We'll have to create, craft, and avoid super dangerous monsters, which in some cases can be even more dangerous than the killers. So, guys, I designed a place for myself for the night, and as a matter of fact, we have some pretty good food. Do you hear those sounds? Yeah, they're monsters, and some of them can even break blocks. Let's hope that this doesn't happen today. Meanwhile, there were already 10 killers, and in the first sector where they almost caught me, they decided to build their base. Well, where are 10 of us? And where is Demon? He's still walking around in this maze. I don't understand. We have to catch him. We need a plan. We split into groups, come the entire maze, I understand, and we'll bones completely. Find him and put him on our cage. And now we need to build a house, get resources, and become stronger. Go with it. <laughs> Do all agree? Okay. Yeah! It's a new day. There's already 15 hunters. This is three times more than at the beginning of the video. Also, now they have a plan, but I don't. Well, guys, I was able to survive the night. It was, of course, a little difficult, but at least we're alive and there's no killers here. My most important task is to try and find a new sector in order to get at least some clues on how I can get out of this place. After walking along the dangerous walls for about 10 minutes, I didn't find anything interesting until I came across this clearing. Oh, hello, hello, oh, oh my god, how much damage did they do? So guys, these are some really serious skeletons. It's good that I got this really good gun from Arsu, and it'll help me out a lot. So, I think that's it. At the moment, I thought that these skeletons will kill me before the hunters. What is this anyway, and where did he even end up? Magic beans, diamond, I don't have any room for this. It's good that I have a backpack, guys, where I can put all the resources that are valuable to me. Without it, it would be really difficult. After walking through the maze for a couple more minutes, I entered a new sector. And you'll be surprised, but in some way, it is old. Oh my god, wait! Wait, I think I know what this is! This is my base from the 100 day survival in the maze! And as you can see, there's a lot of monsters that I feel I'll have to deal with. I'm also being attacked by a, by a bush! So, mummies, of course, I'm super happy for you. I'm also really happy for the achievements that they give me. But I'm not happy at all that I have very little ammo left. These skeletons again, these weird skeletons, man. What kind of bedrock box is this with a with a diamond lock? There's also some kind of chest in there. And look, chests. There's no loot here that I found in this survival, but there's different loot that I think will be really useful for me in this survival. So on the crafting table, let's immediately make a full set of armor, because as you can see, the monsters here do a lot of damage. So I a new gun and a key. The key is the most important thing for us. Let's place our bets on whether the key will fit or not. Fast travel, I guess that's an artifact for the altar and a book and a quill. To get out of the maze, you need to understand it. Seriously? Is that all the information? I really wish I could understand what the killers are gonna do so that I don't fall into their clutches. I didn't intend to stay in the sector for long in order to get as far away from the killers as possible. And as it turned out later, I made the right decision. Because the next day, they were already here. Oh, we have some new sector! Nice dad, did you write down how to get here? Yes! So let's comp everything, see if Zimon was here. The lock is open here. Zimon was definitely here somewhere. In the coming days, the number of killers on the map grew from 15 to 30 people. And they could already easily divide into groups, coming more and more branches of the maze. Meanwhile, I didn't even write down where I came from. To be honest, I feel like I've been here. If I were a killer, I would split into the maximum number of groups of two or three people and would try to find Zimon. In the coming days, I continue to 
wander through the maze, and in the morning continuing to calm the dangerous walls, a couple of times I even met groups of killers. One time I looked at them from the side, and another time they noticed me. Oh, oh my god, wait, 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 I, ow, ow, okay, there's a lot of them here, guys, there's actually a lot of them. Okay, I got one, guys, let's go one at a time, guys, okay, minus one, nice. There's just one more, one more, one more, okay, picked up, picked up, okay, we gotta keep moving. Yes, I took one, wait... Is that all? Where's the rest? Is that all of them? Is that all they can do? At the time, monsters were a much greater threat to me than the same killers. But in the future, they'll become stronger, and believe me, it will not be so easy. Continuing to travel through the maze, I found a very interesting sector. This was a sector with a fallen plane. Wait, what is that? I feel like I have to go there. So, guys, the mosquitoes are flying at me. One more, one more. Okay, there's just one more. I think it's better to slowly move inside the plane. Who would have thought that in Minecraft I would have mosquitoes buzzing right around me? Our task is to quickly loot this plane and get out of here as soon as possible. Diamonds, ender pearls. okay, that's not bad. Wait, a note! The secret is in the way back, but it still needs to be found. The secret is in the way back, and it still needs to be found. To be honest, I have no idea what that means. Mosquitoes, did you understand anything? We didn't understand anything! Zeman, you're just too- Ah, <sighs> it's like this every day. I'm just going crazy. I'm just going crazy and there's a mosquito attacking me. Okay, okay, calm down, calm down. Stop, stop right there. Wait, stop. There's a lot of mosquitoes here. I mean, a lot. I thought I wouldn't survive. That day, I was incredibly lucky because just two minutes later, I found the largest sector in this maze. Only when I got there, it was raining and I didn't even see the boundaries of the walls. I don't know where I ended up, but I think this is a new sector. And wait, what is that? Of course, at this time, the killer didn't stand still. They began to intensely mine resources and craft themselves better and better items. So guys, there are already 30 of us and each of these hunters is ready to catch Zimon at any moment. Are you ready to catch Zimon? Yeah! And each of these hunters is ready. In recent days, we have of course caught Zimon less and than usual. But we have developed so much that Zimon will have no chance tomorrow. Each of the hunters already have both iron and diamond armor. And we even brought rules of how to catch in the Zimon. Tomorrow we will go out and search on this maze and will comp every corner to fight him. I 1000% sure that in coming days we will to able to catch the Zimon. As you can see, the killers were tired of feeling defeated in this video and decided to get together. In the meantime, I began to fully explore the new sector. What confuses me the most is that I don't see the boundaries of this sector. I can't even guess what size it is. The location already seem mystical to me, because during all this time in the maze, it never rained. And this was confirmed by a message in the chat. All doors are locked for five days, no one can leave or enter the sector. What? Closed? Wait, wait, it's actually closed. At first, of course, I was scared, but in the end, it was a huge plus for us. We could take a breath and definitely build our base here. And when the doors open again, we could go straight to the exit. If, of course, we can figure out how to find it. I think that for us, guys, this is just simply amazing news. We'll finally be able to take a breath, relax, and finally build our base. It's just perfect. A light handle, an iron ingot, and a book and quill. The creator of the maze was smart. For many millennia, people couldn't pass it. The one who solves it will become the most super duper hyper mega cool runner. Because many people think that in order to get through the maze, you need to constantly run, since it tends to change. But in fact, all you need to do is to think. The point is to solve the puzzle, not to run between the walls. Well, of course we have some problems problem with thinking, but this is still some kind of hint on how to get out of here. The first day inside the locked four walls was coming to an end. As I found out later, I was in complete isolation, and my nickname wasn't even visible through the walls. New day, guys. I survived the night quite calmly. I locked myself in this cave and- What is this? Oh my god, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Please don't explode. The monsters are here to stay, especially the new slimes. Having dealt with them, I went to explore the sector. In general, calm reigned the sector. Occasionally, monsters attack me, but at the same time, somewhere I found just wheat, somewhere just growing potatoes, and in small caves, I even managed to find a lot of ores, which even allowed me to craft a diamond chestplate. Just look at how beautiful this place is. It's incredible. It's like I'm 
dude, straight out of a video where 100 killers are chasing me, and then I found myself in 100 day survival in complete isolation in a maze. It's pretty cool. What was also incredibly strange and mystical was that this sector was not square. This corner looked a little strange. Initially, I didn't pay attention to it at all, but what happens to it later will very much surprise you. Well, look, almost the entire sector is clearly visible from here, and right there we have another brick building. I want to try and loot it now. And today's task, guys, is to inspect everything as much as possible so that later there won't be any surprises and we can finally start building my base. On the way, guys, we have research of this building, and as usual, there's a lot of these slimes here. We sorted out the smileys and let's go explore the house. In general, all these notes that tell us how we should go through this maze confuse me, like, incredibly. On the one hand, we need to look for a way out to defeat these killers, but on the other, I still don't understand the key to the solution, like, at all. The only thing I have is an assumption from the notes that maybe, perhaps, the exit is where the beginning is. Especially considering that if you watch the movie The Maze Runner, where that location is exactly the end. This all makes me think that I should go back to the very beginning, but I don't even know how to get there. The next day, I finally chose a place for for my house. The first and most important thing is that it was as far away from the entrance as possible. And there were two of them here, and they were right next to each other. Naturally, we'll make the base in the mountain. When the door is open, the killers will be able to enter here, so we need to make our base as hidden as possible. Of course, the base was really comfortable. A separate storage area, kitchen, and even a bedroom. Guys, I can finally put my items somewhere other than my backpack, otherwise my back already hurts from carrying all of these items. The next day, I also decided to start a farm. We we also had it underground. Although we had a lot of food, it went away quite quickly. Carrots, potatoes, and wheat, everything according to the standard. Also guys, in a couple of days, it turns out that the entrance will open again. So I'm going to do a little trick. I have a lot of resources, and so that the killers don't suspect anything, in the chest that I looted, I'll put the loot there again. They won't even think that I could be here, but since I found the note, I'll write them a note as well. Noobs, you won't find me. Now they won't even set foot here, they'll just turn around and go back. If you thought that I was having a bad time in isolation and didn't know what to do, you don't know me that well at all. The next day, I set myself a goal to loot all the towers that were in the sector. In addition to iron and various resources, I found cool armor that will protect me much better from the killers. Of course, I left all the trash so that the killers would also think that I wasn't even here. On the new day, all the gates opened. The total number of killers on the entire map was 40 people. And judging by everything that they didn't break into me, they still don't know where I was. Was. However, starting today, very serious changes have been introduced that can radically change the game. The maze began to change on its own and without any influence. The maze has completely changed. The airdrop dropped in first sector. What are you standing for? Let's go, let's go for drop. Quickly, quickly. Guys, look, it's a mark. Most likely was an airdrop there. Hurry up. Oh my god, guys. Look at the number of guns here. Each and one take one. This will definitely be used to us against the Demon. However, they still received their bonus. But still, everything was absolutely surprisingly calm for me. Yeah, leaving the sector, I didn't even notice that the maze had changed. Yeah. Yep, nothing to add. The killers began to dramatically change tactics. They only left 5 people at their base, while everyone else went looking for me. Yeah, this is pretty unusual, I've never seen parkour in this maze yet. I guys have no idea where I'm going, I hope to loot a couple more sectors and understand for sure whether I need to go to the very beginning. But for now- oh, Wait, wait, they're shooting at me, guys, guys, they're shooting at me! To say that I was scared was an understatement. The killers ambushed me. Guys, guys, faster! faster! Master, there's nothing I can't even take off. Okay, let's run. Oh, come, 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 come down. These killers will lose today. It's good that it's good that I was able to finish the parkour and now I'm faster than them. It was impossible to stay in one place in this maze. So after fighting back a little bit, I decided to get lost in the dangerous walls. Oh my god, that was probably the closest moment to failure. They even set up an ambush and their armor became stronger. I already feel they come to their senses and began to prepare better. Having broken away from the killers, I was able to find a new sector. This sector was called Quicksand. I expected to see a lot here, but definitely not a desert. Meanwhile, while all the killers who were on the map were planning to make their way to the place where they last saw me. And although some ended up in completely different sectors, the killers gradually came closer to me. Desert, guys. I see a lot of flying whirlwinds and some other monsters here. All I want, guys, is a little better armor and a clue on how to get out of this maze. There was another bedrock cube in the sector, but to get inside, I had to open three locks. So... 
It turns out I need to find three keys. Okay, let's not lose heart, guys, and start looking. Oh, monsters, good evening. Have you perchance lost a key here? Oh, wow, now that's a gun. No, you know, basically I'm not that sad that I didn't find a key here. Not really that upset. The next building to explore will be a crane. I would like to note that there's actually a lot of monsters here. More and more in every sector. Oh, one key, nice. I couldn't find any more keys in this sector, but in one of the buildings, I found an artifact effect for fast travel guys there is an exit to some sector wait where is oh my god grab him quickly oh wait no 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 okay let's get out quickly come on the fast travel location was right in the center of the map on a hill i just had to get to it i saw the fast travel over there okay guys we need to hurry up this is some kind of insanity okay come on hurry 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 i just need to put it in okay that's it let's get out how quiet a certain number of keys were placed all over the maze, intended to open such locks. To open the bedroom room, I need to find two more keys, and maybe I will get the key to solving this very maze. Also, Naru Kill has access to the map so that he can easily find the right path. Oh, guys, that's good! I don't know how they will look for me now. At any moment, I just use the altar, TP somewhere else, loot everything, and just leave the maze. Let's break this thing, guys, so that he never comes here again! Let's check this sector again where I survived for one hundred days. I know every single chest there. I didn't find a single key in the sector, so I went to the largest one, where we spent five days. But I didn't take into account the next point. Most likely he will look for keys throughout the maze. So we divide everyone into ten people and go to each sector, then in one the map, since we now have it. Hooray! Why we only one rejoicing? Where is any support? Let's have some team spirit with something here. Blocks, 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 blocks. What is this? Any Anyway, how did they know I was here? Nobody will stop me from finding these keys. Come on, come on, guys, just come here. These were no longer the same killers who were at the beginning of the video. That is, they were the same ones, but more pumped up, in cool armor, and it was already really difficult to fight them. Here, guys, I'll have to use absolutely all the skill that I have. Guys, we just have no other options. Let's live. We're gonna live. It's good that they don't have fast travel, guys. If they had it, we would have lost already. Oh, oh, oh guys, come on, come on. One, 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 one more. The last killers didn't want to lose their loot, so they decided to go for help. Let's go down carefully and see what kind of loot we have here. Oh, okay, I'm completely shocked actually. If it weren't for golden apples, then the video would have probably ended right here. I wanted to try and run through the maze to find that very huge sector in which we built our base, but unfortunately, I realized that I couldn't do it, so I'm back to the teleporter. So guys, I'm here again. Remember, I once said that this corner in the sector looks a bit strange, and this hill would surprise us in the future. Look at the beam that towered over this place. First of all, I decided to go straight there. Guys, I think we have very little time. Just think, there's already 60 killers and we don't even know how to get out of this maze. This is just insane. But running up to this beam, I noticed an entrance to a bunker. What's it even doing here? How did I miss it earlier? I finally found the key to the bunker, another artifact for fast travel and a lot of golden apples. That's it guys, the last key remains. I don't even know where to look for it. We'll try to look further in this sector, but I think that we need to get out of here because the killers will probably arrive here soon. Now let's quickly run to our house because I don't think we'll have the option of returning here again. As you understand, the killers broke the beacon in the desert, and therefore I simply couldn't teleport there. But despite the fact that the maze is constantly changing, I kind of understood where which sector was located. Three days guys, three days I searched for this sector, and here it is. I'm here. Of course, time was not in my favor, and the more days I spent in the maze, the more killers entered the map. Oh look, wait, they broke the fast travel beacon here. Okay. Remembering why I came here, I quickly went to open those same locks, and finally the puzzle came together. I finally found out how to get out of this maze. The roads of travelers can lead to the beginning. They can find their way. If I had just found this note, I would have not understood anything at all. But guys, adding up all the notes that we found, yeah, I understand. I definitely understand. We need to go to the very beginning. We have revealed the secret of the maze. The second part of the video begins. The escape itself. Itself. As you remember, near the beginning in the first sector, the killers built their base. I absolutely didn't know this and didn't know what I would have to face. Alright, we have more to lose here. Let's try to find a way out. You notice a bug in your pocket. It turns out that the killers were watching you and could see you on the map for some time. It's good that they've lost that opportunity now. 
What? Well, I think that's why they found me so well. Wow. Well, it's clear that it was a gameplay moment, but I guess at some stage of the game, they could actually see where I was, even though I didn't know it before. Now I feel somehow calmer. In the coming days, I had to wander through the maze in order to find a way out of it. I saw some monsters that I had to fight. What? What kind of thing are you? In this maze, you can see so many different things. What's more interesting is that more and more often, I began to encounter new small sectors with tests. After passing them, I received some really cool loot. Guys, I don't know what kind of sector this is and why it's so small. I've never seen anything like this before. And at the end, look, there's a chest. Let's try to get to it. This is interesting, of course. I didn't even think there was such a thing here. All the tests were different. In the first one, I had to walk past these moving things very carefully and without touching them at all because this could cost me my survival against the killers in this video. Okay, that's it guys, let's take the resources. Second test guys, and as I understand it is parkour. Well, yeah, what else could it be? In parkour guys, I'm actually a pro, so let's go! Oh my god, wait, where to? Uh, oh well. As a result, after some time, I was able to complete the parkour, took the resources, and decided to keep going. After interesting rooms with tests, I was greeted by a much more interesting thing. It was these gates. Third entrance to the secret dungeon. Do you know what confuses me more? Is what is this SCP icon doing here? I can already hear and even see some slimes. I don't know how to get inside, so let's see what we have here. And here we have a box, diamond apple. Uh, <laughs> Well, guys, as you understand, my brain is completely fried. Oh, look at this gun here, Desert Eagle. Now this, I understand. And guys, I have this SCP red card and maybe it will fit here. Oh, oh, wow, it actually worked. So it says to go there. Well, let's go, I guess. I wonder if there's any killers here. It was written there that this is the third entrance. This means that there are most likely several of them. And I have this idea that the entire dungeon is completely completely located under the entire maze. I've been walking around here long enough and I can tell you that this is not one small dungeon. There's just so many branches here and I guess floors too. Okay, what I'm most afraid of is seeing some monsters that I can't handle. Ordinary mobs can be destroyed quite easily, but by the way, but these slimes do quite a lot of damage. Only killers can do that much damage to me, but certainly not mobs. After a long journey through various tunnels, I came across the first interesting dungeon in the underground maze. This guy's is really unusual. Either it's dark outside, or it's right inside the dungeon. Oh my god, look what I found. Yeah, and there's another entrance to this cube. Let's try to get everything out of the way here. Oh right, a note. These secret tunnels were originally conceived when creating the maze. They were technical. From from here, the participants were observed and various trials were tested, which they later wanted to use in the maze. Oh my god, guys. It's insane that we found this. So it turns out this is a super cool secret location. There's only three entrances to this underground maze throughout the map, and randomly only three of the killers had cards to get there. And as you understood, we knocked out one almost at the very beginning. I really hope that what we find here will help us in the fight against killers, and I really hope that they're not aware of the existence of these dungeons. And look, I went into this small room and there's these white cubes everywhere. And based on the loot, I can say that the loot is here is really cool. But it's not that different from the loot that we can find on top. So, wait, what is that? W what are these? Minotaurs? Oh, come on, come on, wait, no, no, no. Minotaurs in the maze? Well, look at this location, though. And Minotaurs actually spawn here. And I also see a really interesting chest. Oh, wow, armor. A whole set of armor. Wait, whoa, it's actually better than iron, but the minotaurs still pierce it. And look, there's diamonds here. This is really good, because I think that we'll be able to use it somehow. Despite the coolness of this underground maze, it was still an additional location, so I decided not to be too distracted by it and return to our main maze to find a way out of here. We have become real experts in surviving in the mega maze. A large number of times we were able to escape from the killers, explore different sectors, and even find an underground secret maze. A few days later, the number of killers reached 100%. 
100 people. And I stood at the first sector and all I needed to do was to get to the very beginning. Guys, I'm even afraid to guess whether there's anyone here now, but given that the number of killers has reached its maximum, I think there's still someone here. I was a little lucky that not all the players were in the first sector. Many groups continued to look for me in the maze. However, the chance of passing through the first sector was still quite small. As soon as I entered the first sector, I was amazed by what I saw. I finally found out that the killers had built their base here and immediately noticed me. Okay guys, I don't know how many of them there are, but the longer we try to get out of here, the worse it's gonna be. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I see one, I see one. Okay, wait, they're running at me, they're running at me, guys, guys. Okay, minus, minus, I got one. Oh my god, what is going on? The sounds of shooting, guys, do you know why you can't hear them? It's because they're using silencers. Okay, guys, we have to move, we have to move as quickly as possible. Why, there's so many of you. Wait, it's thematic, it's thematic, it's thematic, guys. I found thematic. Oh, oh, okay, I see, I see two of them, I see two of them. Oh, what is going on? Minus one, I see another one. Okay, I see another one. They're just simply on the roofs and in the square, they're just everywhere. This guy's is complete hardcore. There's so many nicknames here, just look. Oh wait, I'm being stepped on. Oh my God, they're advancing, guys, they're advancing at me. Okay, there it is, there it is, there it is. Okay, I'm holding the position, I'm holding, I'm holding, come on. Okay, guys, I'll just sprint it right now. Come on, let's go, let's run, let's run, let's run, guys. We just need to run, run as hard as we can. Wait, wait, they're running after me. The guys, they're running after me, they're running after me. Okay, we just need to speed up. Oh my God, what is going on? Okay, guys, we just need to get out. We just need to get out and close this. Okay, that's it, that's it. We need to run. We need to run as quickly as possible. Just get out, guys. We just need to get out. They made it, guys. We need to run. Come on, we need to run. Guys, I think we're gonna win today. Wait, guys, I did it. <laughs> Why is this exit closed? How did you escape them? Well, that's it, guys. You know who you're dealing with here. Well, guys, Zeman was with you, Tomatic, all the hunters you know and don't know. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe to the channel, and bye-bye, everyone. Well, Tomatic, will there be any comments? You just like it. I'm not sure about that. Subscribe to the channel.